Today we will take a look at the best vlogging cameras for this year. If you want to find more information check out links down below. Before we start make sure you click subscribe button and like this video. Now let's get started. 5. DJI Pocket 2. DJI Pocket 2 It's incredibly portable and comes with a built-in 3-axis stabilized gimbal to reduce almost all camera shake when recording 4K or FHD video. The DJI Pocket 2 comes in two color variants classic black and sunset white. Its small, lightweight design makes it easy to carry around. Camera splits long recordings into sequential clips of 6 minutes and 48 seconds. DJI Pocket 2 has the camera's photo quality set to 64 megapixels. It has a built-in 3-axis gimbal that offers exceptional image and video stabilization. The DJI Pocket 2 comes in two color variants, classic black and sunset white. Body is plastic and camera head rotates inward when turned off to protect the lens. 120fps and 240fps are only available in the camera's slow-mo video mode. This mode only allows for playback in slow motion at 30 fps. There's a USB-C port on the bottom of the Pocket 2. Included in the Pocket 2 box are small lightning and USB-C adapters that fit into this slot for easy phone attachment and video export. DJI Pocket 2 is two cameras in one. The DJI Pocket 2 sports a 1 over 1.7 inch smartphone grade sensor and 20mm f1.8 lens. It still records 4K 60fps video at 100 megabits per second, as well as HDR video. 4. DJI Osmo Pocket 3. The DJI Osmo Pocket 3 is a wonderful tool for vloggers and content creators. The DJI Pocket 3's design isn't much different to the Pocket 2, it's a stick with a gimbal on top. It's functional, compact and lightweight. Build quality is fantastic. The camera body is built from sturdy metal and high-quality plastics, while nicely damped buttons and the large touch screen give a premium feel. The 2-inch LCD touchscreen replaces the tiny 1-inch screen on the Pocket 2, which was that camera's biggest drawback, leading to a frustrating user experience when shooting, playing video or changing settings. Thanks to its 3-axis gimbal, the Pocket 3 provides fantastic stabilization, delivering smooth, professional-feeling footage in most scenarios. The Pocket 3 can shoot in 4K, 60p in standard video mode when shooting in horizontal 16, 9 orientation, or up to 3K, 60p in vertical 16, 9, making it a great all-round tool for both standard video or vertical social media content. DJI rates the Pocket 3 for 166 minutes of footage at its lowest resolution and frame rate of 1080p, 24p. Using the internal battery, the Pocket 3 recorded 113 minutes of 4K, 60p footage so almost 2 hours. 3. GoPro Hero 12 Black. GoPro has redesigned the cameras to eliminate some accessories. You don't need a housing anymore for it to survive a crash or go underwater 33 feet. Flip-down mounting fingers were added to the bottom, so a camera cage isn't needed anymore to mount the camera. GoPro also made some changes to improve battery life. The Hero 12 Black doubles its runtime for shooting at 5.3K, 60 and 4K, 120 to 70 minutes and 58 minutes. The processor and battery give off a lot of heat, especially at higher resolutions and faster frame rates. Combined with a small, waterproof body, the cameras do get hot and will eventually shut down to protect the camera and your shots. GoPro improved its auto exposure performance so video adjusts to sudden changes in scene brightness faster and more smoothly. HDR is available at 4K, 60 and 5.3K, 30 resolutions. 2. Fujifilm XS20. The Fujifilm XS20 is an exceptional mirrorless camera for creators and photo enthusiasts. The XS20 uses the same 26 megapixels by Trans BSI CMOS sensor as its predecessor, but pairs it with an updated image processor for better autofocus and 10-bit 4K 60 video. The body is a little larger than before, but at 3.4 by 5.0 by 2.6 inches it remains one of the most compact cameras with 5-axis image stabilization. The XS20 uses the same 26 megapixels by Trans BSI CMOS sensor as its predecessor, but pairs it with an updated image processor for better autofocus and 10-bit 4K 60 video. The body is a little larger than before, 
but at 3.4 by 5.0 by 2.6 inches it remains one of the most compact cameras with 5-axis image stabilization. Its build materials are premium. Fuji sells this one in black only, but the exterior comprises a sturdy magnesium shell with a leatherette wrap. It weighs about 1.1 pounds without a lens, making it a good fit for travel. The XS20's body closely resembles the original XS10, but a larger grip and centered viewfinder make it easier to use heavier lenses. This control scheme suits its hybrid billing and should be familiar if you are moving over from other systems. And, for an enthusiast camera, the XS20 doesn't overdo it with buttons. 1. Sony ZV-E1 the Sony ZV-E1 is Sony's first full-frame interchangeable lens vlogging camera. This is a very good vlogging camera, particularly for those who tend to shoot in less controlled lighting conditions or in low light and can benefit from its full-frame sensor. The Sony ZV-E1 comes in two color variants, black and white. The Sony ZV-E1 is the first full-frame camera from Sony dedicated specifically to vlogging and content creation. Like many of its ZV series predecessors, it has a fully articulated screen, no viewfinder, and an improved internal microphone. The Sony ZV-E1 is very portable for a full-frame camera. The Sony ZV-E1 feels incredibly well-built. The ergonomics are good, especially if you have smaller hands. The camera is odd in that its size and ergonomics aren't suited to holding it in a selfie vlogging position, so you'll likely need a grip or tripod to comfortably use it that way. The camera has a large Vari angle touchscreen. Unlike many older Sony models, this one includes full touch capability, which is nice to have. The camera's battery life is excellent. Battery life is great but falls short of the advertised 140 minutes. You will get 108 minutes of continuous video recording when shooting in 4K at 30fps.